Hey everybody, it's Ashton Shepherd on Cooking Country, and today's episode is going to be kind of special. Um, instead of being in the kitchen uh, as usual and as you've seen me before, we are going to be doing an episode from the Pick and Shed. The Pick and Shed is um, a place right across from where I live. Um, it's a place that my husband and his brother built to play music when they had a band, and we host all kind of stuff here from little birthday parties to sitting and playing and picking music to cooking. And um, today, being summertime and everything, um, we wanted to show y'all how we smoke ribs and smoke our baked beans in the smoker. And Roland, my husband, is going to be showing y'all a little bit about that and what his smoker is actually made from and all this other kind of stuff. It's going to be real interesting. It's going to be real fun. And we're going to show y'all more detail about it in just a minute. at the picking shed cooking ribs. I've been helping my daddy and my mom seasoned them up and I'm gonna let her tell y'all how much she put in them and what she did. Yeah, we seasoned them up with a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, and creole. And on my other episodes, I've talked about using that as part of my seasoning. Sometimes I use onion powder um, just for something a little bit different. But what really, really makes the flavor of these ribs, they're not just ribs put on the grill, is the way that Roland, my husband, made the smoker back here and what he uses it for and what it actually is. He's going to tell you all about it. He knows a lot more about it than I do. The smoker was actually, I bought it at a rummage sale. They were going to throw it away. So I purchased it for like $25. And it was a serving tray at a hospital. And we converted it to a smoker. We got our beans, brisket, two racks of ribs, and it's fired with a little propane grill that you can get anywhere. Using, using what we had. Oh, I mean, it works out perfect because it smokes it perfect That's and everything. Good. What are you cooking, cooking them on and for how long? I usually try to run mine around between 180 and 210 for about four to six hours. Just depends on the meat. Like the brisket needs more. Yeah. The ribs, a little less. Yeah, Roland does so. all the, he does this stuff. He can't cook in the kitchen. <laughs> I can't cook out of the kitchen. So it works out good today. I told him, I said, you've got to be in it. He didn't want to be in the episode, but I said, you have to be. James wanted to be part of it too. So we're down here family it up today. Everybody. We're going to try one more time. We've been trying a couple of times with a little bad girl. She's only a year and a half old and her sleepy. But I'm going to come back in just a minute and show you all about this little piece of memorabilia from the Grand Ole Opry that I carried on stage with me one night. Tell them, oh, hey. I just wanted them to see my baby. Oh, hey. Okay. Her ain't going to say hey today. All right. We are back with that little raid and she's so cranky. Bless her heart. It's been a long day for her. She's been filming and playing outside and being part of Mommy's World for a little while today. It's really cool to get to do this from home and to get to be with y'all from home. That's really neat. But um, this little piece of stuff, which I wanted to hold her so bad and tell y'all, but she just would not be quiet. Kind of like Mommy. But this is um, something we've had up on the wall, like up here. But uh, I've got written up here. It's my first solo opera performance. It's a tribute to country music. So I played just me and my guitar, and I played um, Jolene, and I played Sweet Dreams, which Dolly Parton and... Patsy Cline, two huge women, uh, country artists, legends. And I was so scared that I would forget my words, so I did the old taping it to the guitar trick so that just in case I messed up, I could look down and see it. It's dated uh, June 11th, 2009. We've got all kinds of stuff like this sort of just hanging up and around in the picking shed. And the more we come down here and hang out with y'all, and we may do another grilling episode or something from here, and when we do, we'll show y'all a little something else and bring you a little further into our world. But um, I hope y'all have enjoyed the segment today. All right, y'all. We are standing here now, or I am standing here now. Uh, Roland did all the smoke work on the ribs. Like I said, we seasoned them with salt, pepper, garlic, a little Creole seasoning. Roland said he put a little special seasoning this time, but he doesn't usually, so he probably just put some little something extra that you can get. Um, not any kind of marinade. I think you just put some extra sprinkly type stuff. Um, these are not barbecued. That's the trick here. That's kind of what makes these different. These are smoked only ribs. And talk about good. Seriously, now, I'm Southern. We're cooking country here. So, yeah, I love my barbecue. But this is really 
really special good barbecue and I am so anxious to try it. But first, I want to cut up a tomato. Now these are fresh out of the garden. You can tell looking at them there. They are, oh my gosh, so good. Now, I cannot take a whole lot of credit or any credit on the planting and growing of the tomatoes this year. Miss Rachel and Mr. Dale and everybody, that's Roland's parents. I referenced that back so to be sure that y'all know that that's who I'm talking about. They um, planted these things. Miss Rachel has hoed them out, kept them up and going. I've been super duper busy with the music stuff and she has kept the home front running for us. She does such a great job at that. And, let's see here, we're almost finished, let's see. And of course, allows me to be able to talk about the fresh tomatoes and stuff. And I actually, that's really um, kind of a neat part of my story. I um, actually sold vegetables for my husband's family. They um, roadside farm for years and years and um, sold like through the paper and stuff, ads for peas and tomatoes and stuff like that. And I sold collards and sold um, at a roadside stand. Matter of fact, when I was pregnant with um, my son James, our son James, and uh, so that right there, oh gosh, so good, fresh tomato. I mean, how can you go wrong? I mean, so good. Now here's what I'm fixing to do. I am gonna leave a little bit of the that for everybody else, and I am gonna take and get me a little cut here of this rib and try it. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. I cannot wait. Get a little bitty nibble. Oh wow. You see there. Yummy stuff. Try that. That's so good. The smoke flavor is incredible. If you've never tried smoking ribs, I mean, cause I know that's a, probably like a restaurant type thing to do, but man alive, when Roland come up with that concoction, it is so good. Mm -mm -mm. A little bit of fresh sliced tomato. Oh my gosh, it's good. Mm -mm. Yummy stuff. All right, everybody. Next, we are going to try some yummy little plate here. Little spoon, and we have put bacon in these and fig onion slices. Let's see here, it's gonna be so good. You can't go wrong with bacon and onion slices, that is gonna bring out flavor. And these are just old regular baked beans right here, and I know they're gonna be hot. And of course, cooking them number one, here's where your flavor comes in like I said, bacon, onions, no salt, no pepper, no anything. The fact that they're in this black iron pot here, a lot of flavor there. And the fact that they have been smoked also right along with the ribs. You cannot go wrong with that flavor. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Super good. Almost got a sweet flavor to it, even though I don't think we, unless Roland stuck some barbecue sauce in there, I didn't know about, but I don't think so. Good stuff. Y'all, you just can't beat homegrown tomatoes smoked ribs. Thank y'all so much for being with us and uh, y'all can check me out uh, on my foodie network site Ashton Shepherd, and y'all can check me out on Facebook. Y'all come back next time and I'll have y'all cooking country. Mm -hmm.